Father, we started this conversation last week. We started this week with recapping the 12 spiritual laws. We looked at compounding. We looked at various investment um, instruments, risk profile, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Now, putting this all together, what are some of the key points that you want to leave with the viewers tonight? So the, some of the things that... Um, that is stopping people is the fear, right? Fear of the language, fear of who do I go to? We have a lot of brokers, a lot of things. And each broker, each bank will have a whole bunch of different products. And what people keep telling me is that they're afraid to start. And even when they go in and they talk to the um, the financial advisor, some of the stack of papers too long and them don't know them, get scared, them leave and then never go back. So here's the thing again, not to oversimplify it, but as Renee said, when you're younger, you're willing to take more risk. But the first thing you need to do is to teach yourself to save. So start with the saving account and put the 15 to 30% away and let a little bit grow so you start to have a nest egg. Now, the issue with most savings account is that the interest paid on most savings account is lower than the inflation and often lower than the devaluation. So some of it, you want to actually be saving in US dollars so you don't have the devaluation problem. And some of it, you want to um, make sure that you're, you're, you're getting enough to save above inflation. Then you move to a simple investment account. And it's good to probably start with the, in the, the some of the index funds, right? So the bond the one index funds would be mutual funds. Ah. So the bond one, for example, is going to be conservative, if you're feeling mm -hmm. pretty conservative. Then the stock one will have more fluctuation. And then a mixed one will again be somewhere in between. So just start with one of those and then Keep putting the money and then watch yourself. Remember, you can change your decisions and so on as you start to get smarter, right? Mm -hmm. And then now, once you start to be comfortable with the index funds or the mutual funds, then you say, you know what? Let me try one or two individual stocks yes. where you could have wild fluctuations. You make a whole heap of money, but you can also lose money. So you put up very little in that as you start to become a little more savvy. But a real, it's really, really crucial. Do not be afraid. And I also want to say to the financial houses, we as Jamaicans are afraid to come and talk to you. Money is one of the money and health are the two scariest things. We need you as financial houses to break down the stuff for us in our language, simple language. If you give us a big farm and I use all of our word, we're not going to come in. It's one of the reasons, it's the languaging that is creating the barrier for a lot of Jamaicans. And yeah. I need you guys, everybody who works at a financial service company on the front line, think about your grandmother, think about your best friend, and talk to whoever is in front of you or on the phone in a way that they can understand. And by the way, allow the possibility of them asking questions. So you don't just run it over them head, you say, hey, did you understand? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we will we will pretend to understand. We don't understand. So okay, what do you understand from what I tell you? Thank you. What yeah. did you understand from what I tell you in an open way? It's not quite right. Let me explain again. Let yeah. me think of another way to say it. And keep doing that because you not only will you have a first of all, you if you do that, you have a, a customer for life. Exactly. Because most people, 99% of the people speaking to, to the people are intimidating them. So if they find someone who they can lock in in a very, very simple way, not only will you have them for life, they will be recommending their friends. And yeah. they're going to be tied up to come and see you because they're going to say, you know what? I understand what Rochelle said. And yeah. she's guiding me every step of the way. So really, there needs to be additional training in the financial services front line about how to speak to Jamaicans about money. Yeah, and, and you know, we encourage too that our financial advisors that are watching this show, that sometimes you have to see a bigger picture because the role that you're playing is a role of a nation builder because what we're doing is creating a nation of investors. And when you see that bigger role, you're approaching this completely different. In fact, we just had a call with our, um, with our viewers what kind of financial assets do you currently invest in? Stocks and bonds, 53%. Mutual funds, 13%. Real estate, 7%. Other, 27%. Um, and 
you know so as as our viewers as you re-watch this show as you go through the memo some key things that we're saying to you start start no matter worry about what it happened yesterday and how much money you did spend on some other things just start you have a right to understand how you are investing your money ask the question anybody that looking at you like saying shut your mouth with a little bit of money where you ask so much question go somewhere else ensure too that as nevada says when that money goes into the savings account at least make some money start going into a savings account and we're saying 15 to 30 percent of what you earn so some of us have to sit down with a piece of paper and really ask ourselves how we're spending our money and if we look back on the spiritual laws and we start thinking about the things how thingsy we are we're realizing that there's so many areas that we can cut down on remember at the base of all of this is that very important law do not cause never had a minute you say minute say it wrong so you say it <laughs> let your lifestyle lag your income do not let your income lag your lifestyle if you get into that mindset and additionally extend your financial horizon where do i want to be in five years not just today if you just lock those two things in you will start to see the kind of asset growth that will put you in good stead financial literacy and financial independence is two crucial things that jamaica has to learn and what to learn as individuals and then as a country and as you said the financial service companies have got to recognize that part of their job is nation building. We never learn about money in school unless you come to camp and I take my, my class. We don't learn about money in school. We learn it on the fly. And most of us never learn it. And therefore, there's a responsibility for us to take the time to proactively seek it out on our own, but also for the financial services companies to guide us to guide us. understanding yes so viewers what another great episode of of covid cast ja as we're talking about how we are building wealth how we're going to come on the other side of covid because we're coming out better than we started so we are at today's episode 24 so you've probably missed 23 episode if you're joining us for the first time if you have missed the past 23 episodes, you can find us right here on Facebook. You can watch them all. You can find us on YouTube and you can put it on your big screen and gather the family around as we are talking about money, as we're discussing investments. Don't watch it by yourself. And we're saying this is now the time that we're moving into a whole other space of changing the narrative for our lives because we are not just learning how to make money. We are learning how to keep it and how to grow it so we are here every thursday at 7 30 pm for covid cast ja please if you do not get our weekly memo i am repeating email us at sme at psoj.org we're looking and forward to seeing you every single solitary week what you say never Michelle, one last thing the the memo is also available on and the programs on smallbusinessportal.com so you can actually just smallbusinessportal.com very easy look for covid cast you can watch the show you can print the memo right from there and uh, read the memo and wh while you're watching the show etc what exactly. we're finding is people learn in different ways our job is to try and create multiple ways of access multiple ways of learning some of you are visual some of you are readers some of you need to sit with something and to go back so let us know that we're being if we're being helpful. This is what we want to do. We're really on a long-term mission to increase financial literacy and business acumen in Jamaica. Thank you, Rochelle. Fantastic. So please leave your comments. Don't tell a friend. Tell all of your friends, them, all of your family, because we're doing this together. And we just like to thank again our special guest, Renee Barnett compliance liaison officer ncb capital markets who gave us a buzz tonight so see you again next week for another episode of covid cast ja excellent